This episode of Cop Block is brought to you by Freekeen.com. public property and you're a public official, so no, I, I respect you, but well, you right now you work for us. Huh? Well, I can, because no, it's not done in secret. Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, I'm actually well, I think what we're asking you is... I have a right to protect the students here. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to ask would, you folks to leave that. Are you, are you just are you to talk to our boss? I'm, I'm asking you. Well, I do you have my permission. I don't need your permission, sir. You're a public official on public property. I'm a private citizen that has the right not to be How are you paid? Where does your paycheck come from? From tax money? My intention to be here is to share ideas and to encourage people to think, and I hope that is why you're engaged in this profession. So I don't see why you're taking issue with us handing out flyers to people who voluntarily accept them. If you wanted to hand me a piece of paper and I wanted to accept it, what right does anybody else have to say that that can't happen? I'm going to choose not to get in this conversation with you and say again, Dr. Hodge. Okay. What's going on? What are you trying to pass out? Well, does that matter? We're on public property. I mean, we're not... Why do you think you have authority to tell me what I can and can't do if I'm not hurting anybody? You, we have a policy that you get things approved by the SAU before anything gets passed out. So if you want to go right over to that white building and get approved, then you're all set. I'm okay. I don't want to, I don't want to see you pass anything out. Is this, uh, can I ask you, is this public property, sir? Uh, yes or no, is this public property? So why do you believe you have a right to tell me what I can and can't pass out to an individual who I voluntarily really, takes it? I don't really want to be filmed right now. Well, you're a public official, correct? What? Sir, are you a public official? Okay. Well, good yeah. afternoon. Hello. Sir, would you like some information? What's happening? Who do you represent? Oh, well, we're just uh, doing some outreach today. Uh, who do you represent? I'm not sure what you mean by that. What organization are you representing? Is this, this is coplock.org. Yeah. This is the name of your organization. Well, I don't this, know if this, you this is the name of our website. Okay, do you have, do you get approval from the superintendent's office to be here? Because that's what needs to happen according to school board policy. Well, is this public, public, public property? property? So I don't well, need approval from anybody. Well, we are required by law to regulate that property. And okay. we have a school board that sets policy regarding distribution of information. Is that right? Yes. Okay, well that would be your regulation. Joanne, right? do you want to send Aaron over to no, it's not my office and have them meet me there? So what's your name? Uh, we're gonna, we'll be right back. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What's your name? Oh, really? I want, just want to share ideas and you know, I would hope that you and your colleagues, being in the profession of education, would support that. Well, in general, we do, but I have, I'm obligated to uphold the school board policy. The superintendent is right over there in the White House. If you'd like to go over there and right. get it approved, that's fine. Right. I cannot give you permission to pass these out. Okay, first I'd say I have not myself handed anything out, but also I would say you've well, admitted... Your, colleague, your colleague Well, he's, uh, like I said, he's responsible for his own actions, sir. <laughs> Why are you trying to you like I mean I have not signed a contract with the school board to say I will ask permission to hand things out on this particular area of public property. I don't see why rules that you guys agree to you think apply to myself. I'm a sovereign individual. Right, and we can respect each other. And we can respect each other. Well, have a good day. I mean, what happens, I hope people think for themselves. That's what I hope happens. I hope you think critically about these double standards you think should uh, justify the use of force or threats of force against myself and my friends.
What kind of society do you want to live in if that if you think that's okay? I know you're just saying you're following the rules, but at the end of the day, if the rules hurt peaceful people, they're not good rules. Yeah, we have different opinions on things, so that's going to happen in our society. Right, right. I would just hope that, you know, you'd respect people that are peaceful. I do. And not initiate force or advocate its use of force, such as calling men with guns to come here and, and bring up issues of court, you know, which is a system that more often than not sides with those sides with its own actors, you know? Where it, it purports to be the victim and when it's not even involved. I mean, someone here today handed out a piece of paper to other individuals who willingly took it. There was no victim. There's no reason to threaten the use of force on that person. Okay. Thanks. Well have a good day. Thank you.